The summer can be really annoying sometimes. With temperatures up to 34 degrees Celsius, it's hard to stay cool. A nice cold breeze could be a real lifesaver in those situations. So today I will show you how to modify a PC van. This way you can power it with a common 9 volt battery and adjust the speed of the van. Let's build it. First of all, let's talk about the parts and costs. Well, it costed zero euro, dollar, whatever for me because I had all the parts laying around in my electronics shelf. The main component is obviously a PC fan. I have quite the collection here, but I chose this one in the end because it is really silent. As you can already tell, the normal voltage for such a fan is 12 volts. How to get 12 volts from 9 volts, you may ask? The solution is a voltage booster circuit. I got this one from China for cheap. It is based around a XL6009 and does a good job. But we can also build our own voltage booster circuit. Look how to do that in another video. This board is quite big though for this little van. So I dropped the idea of 12 volts and I'm gonna use 9 volts instead. It produces quite a nice breeze and takes around 100 milliamps. Now all we need to do is connect the red wire of the 9 volt connector to the red wire of the van and the black wire to the black wire. And done! That is all. I hope you liked this project. As always, don't forget to... Ah, I'm just kidding. This needs more features. For the speed control I will use a 555 timer to generate an adjustable PWM square wave which controls a basic NPN bipolar transistor, the BC547. The transistor acts as a switch, to switch the motor on and off really fast. You may recognize the circuit from my PWM video. And there is also a new diode parallel to the motor. The motor is an inductive load because it consists of coils. And coils just love to store energy in their magnetic field. If I suddenly switch off the transistor, the magnetic field collapses and pushes its energy through the circuit with current. But we have an open circuit, so our resistance is theoretically infinite. And Ohm's law tells us that voltage equals resistance multiplied by current. And when resistance is really high, then the voltage will be really high as well. Big voltage spikes are produced which are capable of destroying our transistor. That is why we use a diode here, so our magnetic field can safely discharge through the diode. But enough theory for now. Let's firstly build it on a breadboard. The schematic should be self-explanatory. All pretty basic components. Just look out for the pinout of the transistor. In my case it is collector, gate and emitter from left to right. And the line on the diode symbolizes the line on the component. Ok, it seems like everything works fine. So let's move the circuit to the van. I want to keep everything pretty small, so I glued my main components to the van side. In my case it is the potentiometer, the NE555, the switch and the NPN transistor. For the wiring I used this really thin wire, which I also used in some of my previous projects. It should be fine because we are not dealing with huge amounts of current. And all the other components like diodes, resistors and capacitors get soldered to their pins. It is actually quite difficult to make all these solder joints correctly and looking out that the pins of the IC do not touch each other at the same time. But I think this looks okay. I mean it's not a beauty, but it does the job. And after a short test everything works, so it is time to seal the deal with hot glue. And there we go. We draw around 120 milliamps, and a 9 volt battery like this has a capacity of around 500 to 600 milliamp hours. So we can power our van for 4 hours in the worst case. Like always, thanks for watching. Be sure to drop some new ideas for projects in the comment section, and I will see you next time.